How are we doing guys? Everton nil, Leeds 1, post-match reaction to the game. What an absolutely massive win that is. Massive, massive win. Massive, massive win. I'm just going to move the camera back there a little bit. Uh, zoomed in a bit too much. Massive win, guys. Absolutely huge. Um, I didn't think the goal was going to come, I'll be honest. I was getting more and more nervous as the game went on. You know, the missed chances. But the goal came because of an absolutely top quality moment of magic from Rafinha. Our Brazilian steps up like I would think he will do several times this season and several times in his league's career and gave us the match-winning moment. It was a top quality moment of individual quality and he won us the game. It was enough to win us the game at the end of the day. And it wasn't just a smash and grab win for Leeds United today. It was a dominant performance. It should have been more than 1-0 for me. You know, really, I think the gap between the two teams over the 90 minutes was bigger than one goal. I thought we were absolutely outstanding today. That's a simple first thing I've got to talk about. But let's go on to the lineups in this game. Obviously, we went, we went with what looked like a 4 1 4 1 kind of system. But again, it was so beautifully all over the place kind of thing. It was just, it was organised chaos, really. It was just everything was all over the place, but in a good way, in a really good way. Everyone seemed to be popping up everywhere. But what it looked like was a 4 1 4 1 shape, certainly to start off with Meslier, Aylin, Cock, Cooper. Dallas, Dallas at left back it looked like. But again, Dallas and Alioski were swapping positions constantly. And then you've got Phillips, um, Rafinha, Click, Alioski himself, Harrison. You know, Rafinha and Harrison were swapping sides all the time. Bamford up top. You know, everyone was all over the place, but in a really good way. You know, everyone was picking up all sorts of positions. And it was just so, it was so flexible and just everyone was everywhere. And it was just fantastic. It felt like we had an extra man on the pitch today, really. We just they had the energy levels. You know, we didn't make a substitution until we've sort of seven, eight minutes to go, and that summed up our energy levels today. You know, we, I think we could have played another 90 minutes, to be honest, at that kind of intensity, because we were just absolutely outstanding today. And the boys left nothing out on that pitch because they were just absolutely outstanding. You know, they gave that absolutely everything they got, and they got they they got what they deserved today, absolutely 100%. Yeah, they 100% deserved that three points today. They deserved it on Sunday. But the key thing is, in terms of mentality, we did not once, in the last 180 minutes, have let our heads drop. We've kept the focus defensively as well. Two clean sheets, two massive clean sheets. Calvert-Lewin, Aubameyang, James, Pepe, Willian, all these players, we've kept quiet. Richarlison, all these players, we've kept quiet now for 180 minutes. It's outstanding. It's outstanding. The fact that we never once let our heads drop after we missed the chances. We, you know, when we missed one chance, we lost our focus defensively. That never happened. You know, that shows a massive improvement for me in that side of our game. You know, we saw against Leicester, Bamford missed that chance in the first minute. Leicester go up the other end of the pitch and they score. We didn't let that happen today. We didn't let that focus go again. Yeah, we did not let that happen at all. You know, I said against Arsenal, we never let the game go from minute 1 to 90. Today, once again, we never once let that game go. We were in complete control throughout. You know, it was played on our terms throughout. We were forcing let Everton to play long balls forwards. You know, it's not Everton's game, that. Everton don't do that. You know, don't try and just play the ball long into Calvert-Lewin. They try and play out the back and some nice, tidy football because that's what Everton's do under Carlo Ancelotti. You know, it's a Carlo Ancelotti encourages excellent football. That's, every team he goes to, he encourages good football. He's showing at Everton, going forward, excellent. But today, we made Everton look average, and that's great credit to us. You know, I'm not trying to go at Everton at all. That's great credit to us, the fact we managed, we've managed to do that over 90 minutes to play that well. Well, obviously, Everton's lined up. It looked like a 3-4-3 three, three shape. Um, Holgate, Godfrey, Keane, the back three. Awobi, right wing back. Sorry, Davis, sorry, right wing back. Iwobi left wing back, Decore and Alan as the centre mids, and then the front three is expected of Hamez, Calvert Lewin, and Richarlison. And yeah, you know, I think Alan was probably their most notable player, to be fair. I think he really did catch the eye from moment to moment. You know, he really took the ball well. I and mean, he's not really stereotypical kind of stuff you see from Alan. You know, he's more of a midfield destroyer, he likes to break attacks down, but he was starting a lot of them today. You know, he was probably Everton's most creative player in that sense. We did a top quality job in, in terms of the rest of the team. You know, I think um, Hammers, Calvert Lewin, Richarlison. I thought we kept largely quiet today. You know, I know Calvert Lewin's had a couple of little chances, but it's going to happen. You know, when you're playing against this kind of quality, it's going to happen from time to time. But over the 90 minutes, we've done a top quality job on them for me. You know, we kept them really well restricted, and um, so you know, shots from distance and quite low quality chances. But for me, in that first half, we've had four or five really, really good opportunities. You know. 
Harrison's had one through on goal. He's put wide. Harrison's hit the par. Oh. Harrison's had one cleared off the line. Bamford's had one which he's kind of snatched at a little bit. Rafinha's had a one-on-one -on -one in the first two minutes, which, had, which he's had cleared off the line as well. You know, these aren't just chances. These are good quality chances. These are chances where you look at and think, you've got to score those. Yeah, you're one-on-one. -on -one. There's no defenders around. That's how much, how good our attacking football was today, our, our general attacking play. You know, you saw the build-up play for today. It was just so smooth. As smooth as I've ever seen us in the Premier League so far. In terms of one touch, two touch, we didn't lose the ball. We kept the ball really well. I'm not sure what the stats were today. I think it's over 20 shots again we've had today. Top quality performance. And ultimately, it was a 1-0 hammering. You know, second half. You know, okay, you know, first half, let's be fair. Meslier's had to make a really good save. And he's had to make, well, two really good saves. One off to Corey, one off Calvert-Lewin. There's that many chances in this game, guys. I'm trying to remember them all. But yeah, one off to Corey, one off Calvert-Lewin. Two really good saves, to be fair, off um, Elon Meslier. And he steps up at the big moments. Because that's what the great goalkeepers do. They step up at the big moments. They don't make save after save after save and then concede goals. They step up, they keep clean sheets, they make, keep the concentration levels up, they're off the line, they stop trouble before it occurs, and that's what Mesley does perfectly. There was another occasion in that first half when Calvert-Lewin had, had beaten um, Robin Cock in, the, in a foot race, and Mesley's there across, nice and composed, and he stops it becoming a situation before it was one, and it's just outstanding, outstanding, you know, Mesley's performance today. And then obviously second half, yeah, there was one moment where Messier's got a clearance misjudged. He's trying to try to be a little bit too clever. It's gone to Rodriguez. Not a great finish off Rodriguez, but Messier reacts really well. He responds really well, and he shows great character. You know, to keep it up, to keep it out really. And um, there's one for Calvert Lewin as well, through on goal, which he drags wide. But other than that, I thought Leeds was totally dominant. You know, obviously we got the goal. I mean, the goal. The goal is just a fantastic, fantastic moment of individual quality from Rafinha. It's just outstanding. It's no other word for it. It's just absolutely incredible. You know, the build-up play to it, it's one touch, two touch, it's so smooth. You know, we're moving Everton around. Rafinha picks the ball up. He's looked to his left. He's looked to his right. He's bought himself so much time. You know, this this skill, this trickery, it's absolutely it's phenomenal what this what this lad is capable of. Seriously, it's phenomenal. He's, for me, he's almost certain to be a Brazilian international. Absolutely, he's almost certain for me. Just the skill set he offers, and he's just a proper, proper footballer who just entertains more than anything. And he produces moments as well. He's not just an entertainer, he produces moments, he offers end products, he creates chances. You know, he almost got an assist as well for the Alioski chance, which I don't know how Alioski put that one wide, but anyway, you know, I kind of get a bit distracted there. Um, but outstanding, you know, what outstanding. You know, he's just all the time in the world, and he just put it in the bottom corner. Pickford, no chance. And Leeds win the game. And that's ultimately where you look back on a couple of weeks ago. We didn't have those individual moments of quality. But now we've got Rafinha in the team. Rodrigo coming off the bench. You know, all these quality footballers. You know, that's what they can produce. That's why we paid the money we did for Rafinha. And I'm not... You know, I'm saying we paid the money we did for Rafinha. But we got him for 18 million. We got this guy for 18 million. You, know, you think really what he's worth. He's probably worth twice that at least. If not more. And he's producing moments like that already. You know, fantastic. You know, absolutely fantastic. And it's a fantastic bargain for Leeds. It's just top quality business once again off Victor Orta and the club, really. Um, just looking at my notes here, you know, I want to talk about the other individuals in space because despite what I've said about Rafinha, his fantastic performance, because let's be honest, it was a fantastic 90-minute performance for him today. Actually, it wasn't 90 minutes because he came off quite late on. But you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. Calvin, though. Calvin Phillips today. I'm going to go as far to say, I think that was Calvin Phillips' best game in a Leeds shirt. I genuinely do. I genuinely think, out of all the fantastic games Calvin Phillips has had under Marcelo Bielsa and for this football club, I think that one was the peak. I think that's his best one so far. When you look at the level of quality he's playing against, Alan, you know, dropping in, Rodriguez dropping in, and he's done a fantastic job on both of them. You know, he's anchored the whole midfield. He's allowed us to play with so much freedom because he's screened that back four with perfection. You know, he's won the ball whenever he's had to. The amount of cross-field passes, the, the way he kept the ball moving. I think it was 80 passes he played today at 95% accuracy. That is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. You know, the passes he was attempting weren't easy passes. It wasn't just passing it side to side. You know, sometimes you can 
get a massively inflated pass accuracy just from that. He was playing just, it's just absolute quality from Calvin Phillips today. Seriously, it's, you know, I think last week I said about Calvin Phillips it was an unreal midfield performance. This week I'm going to say it was the perfect midfield performance because it was. Everything about it was perfect. You know, every element of Calvin's play today was perfect. No other word for it. Sensational. Probably one of the best individual displays we've had so far this season. I think, obviously, other than kind of Rodrigo at Villa, Bamford at Villa, you know, I think Calvin today was up there. It was absolutely phenomenal today. Every element of his play was fantastic to watch, and it was just a joy to watch today was Calvin. You know, and obviously Gareth Southgate was there as well. If Gareth Southgate is not impressed by that, then he will never be impressed by Calvin Phillips. Seriously, because he was that good today. Seriously, it was just top level. It was a world-class performance, if I'm being honest. But it's not just Calvin. I've got to talk about other people. Robin Cock today, amazing. Amazing performance. You know, early on in the game, you know, he showed that aggression against Calvert-Lewin. You know, he, 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 he literally just shoved Calvert-Lewin over. And you show that aggression early on in the game, you know, because we know how Calvert-Lewin plays. He's a top-quality player. He is a top-quality player as Calvert-Lewin. He just showed that aggression. He showed he wasn't going to get bullied in the air, on the ground. He was not going to let Calvert-Lewin bully him. It's just that little psychological battle. And Robin Cock won it for me today. You know, he recovered really well. I just thought it was a really composed, top-quality performance against one of the best attacking units in the league. You know, he was absolutely outstanding today. Mateus Click once again, outstanding today. Outstanding today. Just had one just wide. Jack Harrison, outstanding today. Some top-quality top first touches. Making things happen. Lovely little through balls. Should have probably scored in the game. Bamford was brilliant as well. It was just an all-round brilliant performance. Messier. Messier. Absolutely outstanding as well. Just all round. Just serious top quality from Leeds United today. Top, top quality. You know, the press. The press was absolutely spot on. You know, I said before, that game was played in our terms throughout once again. Like we did against Arsenal, we made Everton uncomfortable. We didn't allow them to play out the back lumping the ball forward because they had to. They had to do that because our press was so good. They knew they could not play through us. And when they tried to, we won the ball back and we launched counter-attacking opportunities from that. It was a really top-quality performance with and without the ball. And arguably one of our best of the whole season. You know, and you could even make a case for it being our best, you know, in terms of the quality of opposition we played today. And we just completely outplayed them for 90 minutes, pretty much. You know, because this isn't a bad Everton team. This is an Everton team that maybe might even push for the top four. Certainly top six. So we've got to take great, great, great confidence from that Wednesday at the very least. You know, it was a top quality performance. And yeah, you know, I think just the performance as a whole, you know, to have seven or eight chances to score. Yes, Everton had a couple themselves. Everton probably will feel they should have scored. We should have scored more as well. Really, really should have scored more as well. And, you know, maybe, you know, in the comments, some people, you know, will say that, and fair enough, we'll say that our finishing has been poor the last couple of games, because it has. But for me, when we continue to play like that, the results will continue to come. We're 11th in the table right now, but realistically, from those first 10 games, if you're asking me, have we been better than 11 so far this season? Resounding yes. Resounding yes. We've gone to Anfield and we've held our own. And we've been very unlucky not to get anything, but for a penalty. Man City, Edison's pulled off some absolutely unbelievable saves. We've played really well. Villa away, the 3 0 win. Could have won by more. Arsenal dominated pretty much from minute one to minute 90. Everton today dominated from minute one to 90. You know, that's five performances out of the 10 against top quality teams where we've been absolutely outstanding here. Yeah, okay, we've lost a couple of games. We've lost a couple of games. But we've, we've, 90, 95% of moments in games we've been well in control. That's what we've shown. We've shown top quality. We've shown. A real adaptation to this league. And I think defensively, I don't think it's getting enough credit the fact we've kept two clean sheets and all these worries about us defensively. No. We've not really adjusted anything. Just personnel. Just key players coming back into the team. Calvin's coming back into the team. Robin Cox back on top form. Nothing else has really changed. You know, obviously Rafinha's come in, but I don't think from a defensive point of view that's made that big a difference. You know, it's just outstanding. What a time to be a Leeds fan, guys. What a time to be a Leeds fan, you know. I think, yeah, you know, it, I mean, it's just stunning. I mean, I'm stunned how well we played today. We were just absolutely phenomenal today. It was a phenomenal minute one to minute 90 performance. 
I'm absolutely staggered by how good we are. You know, how good we are as a team. I'm, I'm actually out. I'm lost for words now. I've seriously lost for words. But for me, man of the match, I've got to say Calvin. But you honestly, could have four or five players today. You could possibly have the whole team today. Because it was a team display today. You know, Everton tried to make a couple of changes. They tried to go more attacking. But it just left us more space. And it led to us creating more chances. And it was just a fantastic performance. Not even mention the fact that we should have had a penalty as well. You know, in the game. Really blatant handball. Somehow, and again, I don't want to finish it off with a moan about VAR. But what is the point of VAR if that doesn't get overturned? But anyway, you know, what an outstanding 90 minute display that was. And this is a team that's going places. Seriously, this is a team that's going places. It might be 11th in the league at the minute. But this team, okay, maybe the results won't always come every week. But in terms of the consistency of performances... Consistency of quality attacking football, getting shots off, second most shots in the whole league Leeds United have taken, a newly promoted club and are taking more shots than any other team bar one, bar Liverpool I think it is, that is absolutely, it's unheard of, this is Marcelo Bielsa, this is why Marcelo Bielsa is ranked among the top five managers in the world, this is why it's no joke, this is why it can't be taken as a joke, you can talk about all the trophies all you, that you want, you will not see another coach get a newly promoted team to produce these level of performances at top quality football clubs as well. I am speechless, guys, how good we are as a football club. But we are better than 11th. Look at the league table at the minute if you want, but we are better than 11th at this moment in time. OK, injuries might kick in, might drop off a little bit performance-wise, might have that little bit of inconsistency around Christmas. But I'm confident now, guys. I really am confident. You know, I've seen talk about if we don't, win the next couple of games before going into this one, all of a sudden we're in relegation trouble. I watched a bit of Newcastle at Crystal Palace last night, a little bit of Burnley at Man City. We're not. Really, I'd be stunned if this team is in relegation trouble at any point this season because we're far better than that. We've got top quality at the top end of the pitch. Yeah, OK, last couple of games we haven't converted chances, but I think over the season our chance conversion has been a lot better, a lot, lot better than last season, I think, especially Paddy Bamford. Missed a couple last couple of games, but his chance conversion has been a lot, lot better. A lot, lot better. Seven goals in his first ten. And it sums it up. Rafinha's just got his first. Rodrigo's still got minutes to get in, into this team. We've still got Diego Lorente to come in as well. Exciting times. Exciting times. But make sure you check out Joe's post-match. And uh, watch along. Every video we've done this week, before the whistle blows as well. Of course, some big games coming up tomorrow. But we have got player ratings, a live player ratings coming up. Whether that's going to be before or after this video uploads, I don't know. But make sure you check that out as well. Live player ratings, me and Joe. You guys are going to give you your opinions as well. Leave in the comments down below your opinions on this one. Were these outstanding? Were they as good as what I've said they were today? Because that was one of our best performances under Marcelo Bielsa against a top quality team. Calvin's best game for me. I want to hear your comments on that as well, guys. Make sure you like the video. And subscribe because we've got plenty more content coming up on all these TV. We're pushing for 20k. Like the video, subscribe, help the channel because we love producing content for you guys. And it's been an absolute pleasure today because that was a top quality, vintage Marcelo Bielsa, Leeds United performance. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Everton nil, Leeds United won, and Leeds United are back moving up the table. Back to back clean sheets, four points out of six, and that will do very nicely. See you later, guys.